Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're continuing in our series on the rapture of the church and the signs we said are taking place right around us or the fulfillment of a prophecy which God gave us in order for us to prepare us uh, to be to be ready in these end times. You know, this is not a time to relax. It's not a time to take it easy. It's a time to be about our Father's business. We need to stay true to the Word of God. We need to stay true to prayer, stay true to the church. Let's reach as many people as we possibly can. You know, that's why we have these videos, so that we can reach people. If these videos are a a, uh, a blessing to you or it's something pointed, something that means something to you, let's pass them on. Let's share them. Uh, I'm not getting money off this. I'm, I'm doing it because we want to reach people. And now I can, I can partner with you in order to do that. I'm not a good speaker. I understand that. And I'm not the best living guy in the world. I understand that. But I do know the word of God will not return void. We need to get the word out. Amen. Well, this is uh, this is sign number four uh, of the coming rapture of the church, and this is the the um, the one world government. Yesterday, we talked about the one world economy. We talked about how that is coming to place, and we are also seeing in our ability in our time in our life of how uh, the sovereignty of our nation is now being uh, taken away, isn't it? Uh, that's why they got upset with President Trump, no matter how you voted. People got upset with him because he tried to put America first. Same thing President Reagan tried to do. And then all the other uh, all the other uh, presidents are now trying to give away, and certainly our current administration. We can see that, can't we? That we're bowing down to other nations. We're giving away our sovereignty. Uh, we're looking to the world courts and the UN and and you know all these other nations. And what we're going to see is ultimately is that the United States will uh, bow down just like all the other nations, and we will we will say we need like the back in the. Um, uh, Nimrod and the Tower of Babel back in the book of Genesis where we'll have one leader and uh, who will ultimately control what's happening in the world and that is called who? You got it the Antichrist. And there's a lot of stuff out there that are false about the Antichrist and you know if you want to make a horror movie you make it about the Antichrist or 666 or something like that what we find is in Revelation 13, 11 through 18, he says, And I saw another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns, and like a lamb, and he spoke like a lion. He exercised all authority of the first beast in his presence, and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast, whose deadly wound was healed. He performs great signs, so that even he makes fire and come down from heaven, on the earth in the sight of men and he deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he which was which he was granted to do in the sight of the beast telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image of the beast who was wounded by the sword and live and was he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So what we find here, and we're going to talk about this in the coming days, about a false religion, this world religion. And the world religion will be that, those people who will uh, worship the, the, the beast, the Antichrist. He is supposedly... Uh, whether it's true or not, he will be killed and be resurrected from the, uh, from, uh, and raised to life. Whether it's, uh, something that's AI, something that's manufactured so that people will see it, it looks real, and it's, but it's not, or whether the devil now raises this Antichrist back to life again. But apparently, the world will think that this Antichrist will have been killed and raised again. Those who have a nominal understanding of Christianity will say, this is Jesus Christ. He 
He died and he resurrected from the grave. This must be God. And people will worship him as God. And the false religion, the, the, the false prophet will stand up and make an image and say, anyone who refuses to worship him uh, will be killed. So we see this rise, this, this leader of leaders among in the, in the world. He'll promise peace. We're told to Israel for seven years, and he'll sign a, a peace treaty with Israel, and um, and I believe at that point uh, the peace treaty will will um, actually uh, be the trigger effect that will cause um, the world to plummet into uh, the 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 great tribulation and his rise to power, and certainly he'll he'll renege on that. That promise, and he'll he'll eventually uh, go and defame the the temple, and uh, and so forth. So you read all that, you understand what's happening. We see where the United States is. We see we have weakness in the in the in the White House. We have weakness in Congress. We have weakness in in the Senate. We have weakness in the pulpits. We have weakness around the world. And you know what? The world is right. You look at pre World War One, pre World War Two. Germany, and don't you believe that we're not steps away from that that hyperinflation that you'll take? You'll need barrel uh, a, a wheelbarrow of money to buy a loaf of bread because the dollar will be so deflated and the interest rates will be so crazy that uh, the world will be ripe for a man who gets up there and makes promises that he will uh, stabilize the economy, he will stabilize, and he'll bring everybody into, into his, his, um, his domination. That is the Antichrist. And so it will be a wicked, wicked time. The rise of the one world government. We see that. We're steps away from that. We're not there yet. What will it take for us to get there? I think it'll take a, a global collapse. Uh, and what we see, we see in we see in uh, in Greece and other nations who are filing who are filed for bankruptcy because they have so many debts that they can't pay. And listen, I believe personally, I believe China is propping up the United States right now until digital currency as we talked about yesterday comes into play and then as soon as they begin to take their money out we'll collapse uh, with the other nations and once we collapse it'll be a domino effect around the world which will give rise to the need for uh you know it calls mass chaos of course and and civil wars and all this other stuff and then we'll rise this one world power this this government this this uh, man of sin, this this antichrist, and uh, he will bring everybody under his under uh, you know, within his fist. Exciting times! Exciting times! That should not scare you because you know what? I believe, most believe, that we'll already be raptured out of this church. I mean, out of this world before all this takes place. And if not, if I'm wrong, you know what? God's still sovereign. God is still in control. He's never seen his righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Our God, our Lord, is still on the throne. Amen? Amen. This is pa uh, Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.